Welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, A.B. Now you guys read the title, you seen the thumbnail, you seen them football helmets, so you know it's football time. So what does that say to everybody? Usually when I hear football, I think right off the back about them appetizers, finger foods, tailgating, you know, having a party at my house. Hey, this is it right here. Today I'm getting ready to show you guys just how easy it is to make roast beef sliders. You know what? And you can use any kind of cheese you want, but listen, I'm gonna tell you the key. The key is if you get your uh, meat, you wanna get it thinly sliced. When you do that, hey, it helps with that uh, the barbecue sauce or whatever kind of sauce you wanna put on it. And then, you know, with that cheese on it, hey, listen, I ain't gonna over talk it. My mouth is getting watery. Listen, I'm gonna show you guys just how easy it is to make. So let's get right into it. Okay, look, we finna go ahead and just start off by looking, you know, going over the ingredients. I'll start by saying, hey, listen, if you got yourself a 13 by nine, you know, Pyrex uh, pan, this is what you're gonna need. These right here, these are those King's Hawaiian, you know, Hawaiian buns, perfect for uh, like a dinner roll. These are perfect for sliders. Got a half a cup of barbecue sauce. Here, got a half a cup of butter. And then we got that W sauce. You guys know that's what I call it, the W sauce. Got a tablespoon of that. Right here. Those of you, I'm gonna go ahead and tell my age, hey, excuse me, but do you have any gray poupon? Hey, for those of you all that know about that, look, got two tablespoons, excuse me, that's a tablespoon of that. This right here are poppy seeds. Be careful with these poppy seeds for those of you guys that take that test. Hey, then we got a tablespoon of those two. Actually, this is a one and a half teaspoons. That's what this is. Then we got brown sugar, which is uh, two tablespoons of brown sugar. You know, a lightly pack. And then right here, here's the star. Look, you want to get yourself some thin, whatever kind of meat, but today I'm using that thin, you know, that roast beef. Look at this right here. You want to talk about making some great uh, sliders, that's going to do it. And then right here, we got that Munster cheese. You know what, just, you only gonna need, you know, about 12 slices or whatever, probably about eight to do it, but you can overdo it. Hey, you can never have too much cheese. Now, we gonna go ahead, preheat this oven. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna just take, you know, separate your roast beef or whatever type of, whatever type of meat you use, as long as it's thinly sliced. What you want to do is you just want to separate it and you want to get it ready because we're getting ready to pour some of this uh, barbecue sauce. Now you use your favorite barbecue sauce, you know. I'm just separating it that way all of it can get some of this barbecue sauce on it. But I promise you, once these are made, everybody going to want one of these. Now listen, I'm only making 12. You can make them however you want to. And I wanted to show you something also. This is what I do when it's not when I'm not entertaining no company. I'm gonna show you. I got another set of buns that I use. When I can find those, I make them a little bit bigger. And that's these right here. These King Hawaiian. Look, these are buns. These are a little bit bigger. Gotta try these. Now, once they're done, you got them all separated. Then get a little air and make it a little bit easier to move them around. You want to go ahead. Take your barbecue sauce, we're gonna pour this over the top. And what we're gonna do is we just finna work it back and forth, get everything nicely coated. Now we're gonna get in here with our hands and we just finna move this around. Make sure all of it gets a little bit of this uh, barbecue sauce on it. Be careful with it. Listen, because if it's, if it's thin, you know, like these are right here, you know what I mean? You gotta be careful because it'll tear itself up. So, just move it back and forth. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna let it sit in here for a little while, absorb some of this uh, flavor before we add it to the buns. But man, whew, I wish you guys can smell it. And again, don't forget, use your favorite barbecue sauce. I'm using mine, which is the one that I make, which you guys will start to see. You know, that'll be coming soon, but right now, now that I got it all mixed up, this is what it looks like. Nicely coated. I'm gonna clean my hands and now we're gonna do our buns. Now, I'm gonna set this off to the side. We're gonna go ahead and grab our buns. I'm gonna leave them in here. 
I don't know if you guys just heard that right now, but that tells me that uh, that's my stove saying that the preheat is good. I'm gonna go ahead, use this bread knife. First, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and separate these. And then I'm gonna separate them from the bottom. Okay, we got them separated. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take this bread knife. We'll just cut them like this. And what we're gonna do is start putting the bottoms on here. We'll leave the tops off to the side. Now, I'm gonna go ahead, bring back that roast beef, I'm gonna show it again, cause look at that right there. Mm, I wish you guys could smell it. So what we getting ready to do now is, we getting ready to start adding some of this meat. Oh man, got my mouth watering already. So we'll just start over here. There's no right way, no wrong way to do it. You just do it any old kind of way you want to. Main thing is you wanna get some of that roast beef on there. Oh man. I gotta quit saying all oh, man. And we're gonna put a little bit of that like that. Real easy to make, as you can see right here. No certain way, you don't have to worry about no pattern. You decorate these how you want to. You know what I mean? It's all, you know, your presentation is your presentation. But I can just tell you this, with this aroma, barbecue sauce, roast beef, you know what I mean, this Hawaiian bread. Hey, listen, and when we melt this cheese, this right here is what's gonna do it. Hey, it's gonna make sure that your house is the talk of the, talk of the town as far as uh, who giving the best tailgating, you know, party. See just how easy it is Look at that right there. I'll just bring it across so you guys can just take a look at that. That right there is a whole lot of goodness. All right. Now we're getting ready to add some slices of this monster cheese. You can put whatever kind of cheese you want to on there, but listen, I want it to be cheesy. So we're gonna go ahead and just do it like this. We can separate them. They already separated, but they're gonna be just, they'd be a little easier to separate, you know, cause we got a guideline. But just take a look at this cheese right here. <laughs> but wait, we ain't done yet. And we got this extra one right here. I guess we gonna double up on one of them. We just put it right there. There we go. Now, let me bring you in again so you can just see, you know, super easy. Nothing fancy about that right there. It don't become fancy until we get through with it. Now we're just gonna go ahead and just add our tops on top of each one of these. It's gonna make sense to you guys in just one second. Now we're getting ready to make the sauce. Okay, look, first thing we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and light everything. Let's light our stove. We're gonna use a like a medium low just to get it going. I'm gonna put a little heat in the pot once that's getting, you know, warmed up, we're gonna go ahead and start by, there's no order in this, but I always like to start with, when I make it, I just start with my butter first. So, just drop that in there, let that melt. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna wait a couple of minutes, you know, let this go ahead and melt down. We don't wanna have it too high, we don't wanna burn it. Once it gets about halfway down, then I'm gonna add the rest of this, we're gonna stir it. Once we get it stirred, we're gonna bring it to a boil. Once it boils, I'm gonna take it completely off of the heat, then we're gonna put it and pour it right on top of them buns. Hey, we finna create something amazing. All right, it's melting down good. Let's just go ahead, We're gonna, I'm gonna put this Dijon mustard. Hey, if you guys get a chance, if you don't have one of these small little rubber spatulas like this, get yourself one. Cause look, you gotta be able to get the rest of your ingredients. You know, this is the reason why we have these measurements, but you gotta be able to get them all out of the, uh, out of your container. 
you know, so listen, it allows you to scrape them. Then once you got it all out, you can get whatever the ingredient, you know, amount is, you can get it just about all the way out of there and into that. Come up with that W sauce. Poppy seeds. And the brown sugar. Me, I'm gonna go ahead and just give it a stir. I'm gonna reduce this down to like a low, you know? Just keep working it in. What we wanna do now is make sure this uh, brown sugar, it dissolves properly. We just wanna cook that down also. Then I'm gonna let it go ahead and boil. Once it boils, you know, one more time and I'm done with it. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pour it on top. Another thing too, when you're cooking, you wanna stay on top of that, your heat. You know, you watch your disc and as you're stirring it, if it looks like it's too hot or is it boiling too fast, you wanna go ahead and just, you constantly adjusting your heat. That's another like pro tip. Along with, we taste our food in stages. Now I'm giving you guys the base right here. It's up to you to do what you wanna do from here on out. Maybe you want it to be sweeter, Maybe you wanted to have, you know, more butter, whatever you want to do. But I'm giving you the base right here, and this is where we're going to work from that. So, eventually, you're getting ready to see me taste it. I know this right here for a fact to be to my taste buds. And, you know, the people that come over and eat this, they like it like this. And that's what I'm giving you. But you guys make it your own. Do what you want to do. Add what you want to. And uh, go from there. All right. Now it's come up to a boil. I can, you know, see that all of the brown sugar has uh, dissolved. You know, it's all mixed properly. We go ahead and turn it off. Now we move over to the next phase. Now, we just saw this, it's ready. This is about the texture you would like to have right here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pour this on top of here. So, we just take it like this and make sure you get it over all of them. And this also helps, you know, toast the bread and it puts that flavor of that sauce, you know, on top of your buns. Now, I'll bring it like this so you guys can just see what it looks like, you know, like on the top. There you go, you can see those poppy seeds on top. Now we're getting ready to put this into the oven. We're gonna put it in the oven for 22 minutes. Hey, let's just say we're gonna put it in. I'm gonna put it in for 20 minutes. Then we're gonna take a look at it. We're gonna look at the cheese and see how that is. If it's melted like we like it, we'll take it out. If not, we're gonna go another five minutes. So, Alexa, set a timer. Timer for how long? 20 minutes. 20 minutes, starting now. Now this is what it looks like, you know, once it comes out of the oven, look at those tops, those buns right there, they listen, they nice and toasted. Now some of these are gonna like fall over or whatever, but what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take, you know, cause of that cheese. I mean, we wanna make sure it, it didn't stick to the edge or whatever. Now, you guys can uh, plate them any kind of way you want to. You know, right here, I'm just using this uh, rectangular, you know, plate right here. It's just for, you know, for the thumbnail and to just, you know, put them out for display. What I can tell you is, listen, I'm gonna do a video, you know, real soon. I'm gonna give you guys some uh, some more, I guess we'll just call those more uh, like party ideas, you know, just like, like plating. You can put them on a platter, serve these with along with uh, like some uh, chicken wings, any type of finger foods. And don't forget, you know what, we got dips. Hey, and me saying dips out loud, you know, it's making me think like, hey, that might be the next video, you guys, you know. So listen, when you're entertaining some company, it's all about the appetizers and, the, you know, the game or whatever we're doing. But there you have it. This is what it looks like. You can see that roast beef, that barbecue sauce on there. You know what? Those toasted buns and that cheese. Hey, do your thing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know. Don't forget to smash the like button and let's get it. So tell me what you guys think about this one here. You know what? Hey, listen, this is just another option so everybody can start thinking, you know, something other than just having like, you know, some type of, you know, different uh, wings, you know? So listen, you can have sliders, wings, man, they got all kinds of things. You got dips. Hey, so if you guys didn't know, we getting ready for that big dance. You know that big dance, that big game. So I just want you guys to let me know down in the description box below. Tell me what's your go-to, you know, when you're having like a little tailgate party or a little football party at your house. Hey, with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me go ahead and take the time to say, hey, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And if you've been watching me for a minute, you know how I'm getting ready to end this one. I'm out of here. Peace.